Hey guys! Um, so recently, I just reached 100,000 subscribers, so I'm so happy about it. And um, YouTube actually just sent me the silver play button recently, and it's actually my birthday. So this is like the best present ever from YouTube. Thank you so much. Um, I think I remember three years ago when I started my YouTube channel, I been, I really wanted this silver play button. Now I got it. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for you guys who have supported me all these years. And I won't disappoint you. I'm gonna keep making videos. So yes, I'm here to stay. So in this video, I would like to make my first Ask Me Anything or Q&A video. And it's also my 26th, turning 26 and um, uh, I thought it would be fun to maybe get a little personal maybe um, and maybe like answer your questions about anything really for my 26th birthday and yeah I hope you guys like it and I think I might speak a little faster here so um, if you're not comfortable with my speech just simply um, reduce the speed to 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 instead of complaining in the comments um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and let's go on to the first question what is your influence for consistently creating video? Um, well, I want to make this. I think I think there's a potential um, in my YouTube channel, and I think I could make something great out of it. And I think it's been three years since I did YouTube, and the first one or two years I haven't really been consistent. And also, I feel that I wanted to change that now. I really want to see if I do my best in this channel, where will it bring me? You know, like what's the best that I could do with my YouTube? So I think it's really in bahasa kayak pembuktian diri gitu. I really need to prove myself that I could really make something out of it. So it's more, yeah, I think um, it's kind of like a self challenge thing, I guess. So. Wisnu Pranoto, I totally remember you. You came to the um, um, meetup with Chakap. Um, sorry that I have been I haven't been responsive to your comments or for your DMs because truthfully I'm not great at responding to messages, even with my friends, my family. Um, and I think um, I'm going to go back to Indonesia maybe either end of March or April, and I'm probably gonna also have some sort of similar workshops or meetup then again so stay tuned for that oh yeah dan buat kalian kalau misalnya ada acara atau um, apapun yang kalian perlu speaker aku ngajuin diri buat jadi speaker jadi pembicara jadi just send me an email at shesnyonfar.com and we'll get in touch then so yeah kak sebenarnya apa cita-cita kakak dan apakah cita-cita itu sudah tercapai for now my cita-cita which is my dreams is to actually build a life that I'm proud of you know like you know if you know about the Japanese concept of ikigai is to actually be in the uh, middle point where uh, it's the intersection between the things that you like, the things that you're good at doing, the things that's actually bringing um, benefit to a lot of people and the things that pay. So I think I really want to be in that point where I feel fulfilled in my life. Um, uh, so I think that is my cita cita now. I think I'm actually a step closer every day to reaching that point, even though it's a very slow process. But yeah, masih belum tercapai, tapi sudah dalam direction yang right, I think. So yeah. Quality question is, when will you get married? It's actually when will you get married and it's none of your business. Gimana caranya bisa lancar conversation sedangkan lingkungan kita tidak merespon? Um, I would say it's um, it's definitely a challenge if you are not surrounded by the right people that would help you becoming more fluent in English. But I would say also don't be a victim of your circumstances and just actually um, do something to create an environment that is conducive to learning English. You know, like um, um, find I think if just on your phone you can go on Google Play Store or app um, or Apple iOS Store and actually find a forum or like a language app that can unite you with other language learners who want to improve their English, you know? So I think that is also, that is a way where you can create your own environment untuk bisa merespon kamu dalam bahasa Inggris. And if you want to go one step further, actually be a starter of an English community in your local, yeah, an English club in your community, you know? So. I think that way you will be able to find people who have the same goals as you and yeah, I think that's that. Motivasi belajar banyak bahasa apa sih, Kak? Um, actually, it doesn't really, it's not very hard to motivate myself to learn languages because I see it as a hobby. It's kind of like, um, if you ask me what the biggest motivation for is it, it, it's just pleasure, you know, like in my spare time, if I have free time I would either read or I would learn I would I would watch videos in foreign languages that's just 
fun for me, you know, I don't know why. Let's say, yeah, I don't know why. So I don't really, it, it doesn't take much for me to motivate myself to learn a foreign language because it's just simply a hobby. So yeah, that's a short answer. Gimana cara konsisten belajar bahasa Inggris? Well, um, if your idea of belajar bahasa Inggris to actually sit down on a desk and do, I don't know, like conjugation or like grammar exercise and all that, I can't really recommend, I can't really give you a good recommendation. Um, I, I can really give you good advice because if I were to do the same thing, I would also be bored out of my mind. I would not be consistent because that way of learning language is just so boring. The, uh, for me, the best thing to do is to actually find things that you're already doing every day. For me, it's actually not creating new habits or like new um, kebiasaan yeah, in, in, to learn English, but to actually replace the habits that you're already doing every day um, to doing it in English. For instance, for instance, let's say every day you're already watching a lot of makeup videos, makeup tutorials on YouTube. Instead of doing an Indonesian in Bahasa, you can start watching all these makeup tutorials in English, you know, so it doesn't feel like you're actually learning it, but it's just like you watching makeup videos in English, you know, so it doesn't feel like you're learning. It feels like you're just having fun. You're just doing your daily things, but then sambil menyelam minum air, you know, so definitely try, find a way to incorporate English in your daily life already. You don't have to create new habits, just replace your existing habits in English or like with English so yeah or, less, um, or otherwise you want to start small you know instead of like telling yourself pokoknya tiap hari gue harus 2 jam belajar bahasa Inggris do like okay every day for 10 minutes I will um, train my ear to listen actively in English I will um, watch something in English that I like and uh, um, take 10 minutes every day to take notes I mean like to, to collect 20 new vocabularies a day and then you review it this and that I think I would say if you start small like that you would think it's manageable and it's easier for you to actually do it you know so yeah find something that you like and um, set smaller goals so I think that's um, the key to being consistent kenapa susah kalau buat speaking padahal kalau masalah listening reading segala macam aku bisa it's very simple when it comes to like language learning to be fluent itu cuma two, it's only two, um, like a very simple process input and then output okay. input and output input means that you get really exposed to the language so you do a lot of reading speaking sorry reading listening watching a lot of that language and output is when you practice it out when you actually say something when you actually produce words yourself but then in order for you to produce words this and that you need and more naturally you would need a lot of input you would need to um, store a lot of english in your brain and then after you're getting so you after you have the feel for the language after you get used to the language that's when you could actually um produce it you know like that's the output part so um kenapa kamu nggak bisa listening reading segala macam listening and reading segala macam kamu bisa because you've practiced it enough kamu udah sering dapat inputnya like reading listening understanding tapi kamu nggak pernah latihan you, you don't do the output part you know so right now you just have to pra- um you just have to um focus on the output part which is more speaking and actually talking to yourself or find a conversational partner this and that so it's actually pretty simple what are the most difficult languages to learn for Indonesian speakers? I would have to say, I think generally a lot of Western languages like French, Spanish, German are actually, they're quite difficult for Indonesian speakers because they include a lot of complex grammar structures that do not exist in Indonesia, in, in Bahasa. And yeah, it takes a lot of effort for us to learn all of these concepts don't, that don't exist in our language, you know? So I would say, but, um, Let's say French, for instance, is very difficult to learn because of like, um, it's very different, you know, like from Bahasa in terms of grammar structures and also pronunciation. I think the pronunciation in French is just almost impossible for me. I think I gave up on it a while back, although right now I'm starting to pick it up again. But um, Spanish, for instance, there's a lot of similarities in how um, the pronunciation is. So it's a lot easier for, let's say, Indonesian speakers to emulate. So yeah, a lot of Western, um, a lot of Western languages for Indonesians are quite hard. Russian as well is pretty hard. So yes, unfortunate for us, but still doable. 
So guys, for now, itu aja. Um, thank you so much for your questions on my Instagram. If you haven't followed my Instagram, it's at um, just Naila Farhana. And um, yeah, I think, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like this kind of videos and you want me to talk about other things other than English, definitely comment down below because I would like to know. And I will see you guys in my next video next week. And I hope, uh, yeah, you have a good day. I'll see you then.